Here I want to introduce uh, the principal rays for a diverging lens so that we can draw ray diagrams for a diverging lens the same similarly to how we drew them for a converging lens. Uh, now for a diverging lens the light rays uh, here's our object the light rays will come into the lens and then spread out uh, so they won't come together they won't be focused the way they were for a converging lens and so the principal rays for a diverging lens are necessarily going to look a little bit different uh, than the principal rays that we constructed for a converging lens. Um, so let's introduce those. Uh, so we have our object, our diverging lens, our optical axis, and I've marked the focal point on both sides of the lens. Uh, and this dashed line here is just to help me keep track of the middle of the lens, um, because that's where I'm going to draw any of the bending that happens for our principal rays. So, uh, principal ray number one uh, starts at the tip of our object, travels parallel to the optical axis into the center of the lens. Uh, this is the same way principal ray number one started out for a converging lens. Uh, for a converging lens, this ray would now go down and pass through the outgoing focal point, but for a diverging lens, it's going to uh, be bent up rather than down. So there's our outgoing ray. And the path, the angle of this outgoing ray, is such that if I trace this line back as a straight line, it will connect to the incoming focal point. So there's our dashed line uh, tracing back to the incoming focal point. Um, and this dashed line is just sort of an imaginary line that I'm drawing. So there's no actual, the light ray is not following this dashed line. The light ray comes in and then gets bent upwards. But the way it bends upwards, the way I keep track of that, is by drawing this dashed line connecting to the incoming focal point. Uh, so that's principal ray number one. Principal ray number two is the exact same as it was for a converging lens. Um, so it passes through the center of our lens, does not get bent at all, it just continues on a straight path. And because this is a di diverging lens, principal ray number two and principal ray number one are not coming together. They're not being focused to any intersection over on the outgoing side of our lens. However, we do get an intersection between principal ray number two and the imaginary traced back part of principal ray number one. We do have an intersection right here. And that is actually where our image is going to form. Right here we get a small image, much smaller than our object, that goes from the optical axis up to this uh, somewhat imaginary intersection point between principal ray number two and the traced back part of principal ray number one. Um, notice this image is over here on the virtual side of our lens as opposed to being on the real side of our lens. This means that this is a virtual image rather than a real image. Uh, let me throw up a couple of labels just so we know uh, everything we're talking about. So ray 1 in and bent up, ray 2 doesn't bend at all, and here's our image at the intersection uh, between ray 2 and the traced back part of ray number 1. Um, I mentioned that this is a virtual image. Not only does that mean that the image is on the virtual side of our lens, but being a virtual image also means that ray 1 and ray 2 do not actually intersect. This intersection is between ray 2 and the imagined part of ray 1 being traced back. There's no intersection between the actual ray 1 and the actual ray 2. Uh, that is also a characteristic of a virtual image. That means if I want to see this image, I need to put, I need to be over on the outgoing side of the lens, and I need to look through the lens, and I will see an image here. But if I were to put uh, a piece of paper here or something to try and project this image, that would not work because it is a virtual image. Um, this is our complete ray diagram. Uh, for a diverging lens, we are only going to draw two principal rays. Um, and the intersection between those two rays will tell us where our image is formed. Uh, if we did want to do the lens equation uh, for a situation like this, let's just check uh, what variables are positive and what variables are negative. This is a diverging lens, so the focal length will be negative. Our object is over on the virtual side where we expect the object to be, so our object distance is positive. Our image is also on the virtual side. It is not where we would expect uh, the image to be. We would expect images to form on the other side, the outgoing, the real side of our lens. So the fact that our image is on the virtual side 
means that our image distance would be a negative number if we wanted to use the lens equation.